Hello, good morning, everyone. In response to the question on screen, so I'll just walk you through um, how to do that. Actually, for this particular account, which is um, a demo account I use for creating tutorial, um, I have connected Bybit already, but I'm going to take the process again. So what I'll do is uh, I will just click on this Bybit, which has been connected already. So I'll say um, change wallet. So, um, or okay, before that, I'll just come here and select OKX. You can see. So, if you have selected by bit as well, it will ask if, if you have wallet already. So, you just have to click on yes, I have wallet. And if you don't have wallet already for whichever um, exchanger or um, app you've chosen, you just have to click on create account. It will walk you through how to download the app. Then uh, you, the, the process of creating account is very easy, very, very easy. You just have to follow some prompt on the screen. All right, so if I'll be linking OKX, actually, I don't have OKX on my phone because I don't use the app. So if I'm using OKX, for example, I just have to click on yes, I have the account. Then I have to find this USDT ERC20 wallet, which is Ethereum wallet for USDT. Um, that is the USDT that use Ethereum network. We have USDT BP20, <coughs> do you get now? And we have ERC20. So ERC20 is the specific one. If you copy the wrong one, you are going to end up losing your um your airdrop or your coin when it is time to withdraw. So you make sure that you copy the one which is um USDT ERC20. So that is if I'm using OKS. And if I decide I'm not using OKS, maybe I want to use KuCoin, it's still the same process. So I just have to click on, yes, I have an account, if I already have an account. If you don't have an account, you have to um, just click on, yes, I have an account as well. So what you just need to do is you download this wallet, then follow the prompt in creating an account. Then once you have an account, you can just go back to your account. So let's assume I'm using Trust Wallet, which I've explained in my other video. But you know, we are, we are talking about Bybit. I've already connected my Bybit. So once you click on, <clears throat> yes, I have an account, it will ask you for the address. So I want to show you how I link the address to, to my Bybit. So you just minimize this app and go to your Bybit app. Open your Bybit. So once you open your Bybit app, just come to um, Spot. I'm sorry, Assets. This is due to network anyway. You can see network error. So this is just due to network. All right. So I am in the what's it called Asset page. So I'll come to Deposit. Then I will click on deposit crypto. Please take note of that deposit crypto. So once I click on deposit crypto uh, in the search box here, I'll type USDT. So once I type USDT to bring it out in this way, you can see ECR20, TRC20, that is for Tron wallet, BSC20, that is Binance wallet. So I'm, t I'm taking the ERC20. Remember, that was the specific one I was asked to copy. So what I will do is I'll just copy this um, wallet address here. I'll click on what copy then i'll head over to my what's it called my pixel bars and i'll just paste the address here remember this is not the address for bybit so if i paste this here i'll also end up losing my coin so i have to make sure that i have pasted it from the right wallet i copied that code from bybit so and you can as you can see it's already linked here so once you click on that it will click you have to click on ok or connect wallet and that's just how to go about connecting bybit so um to save um, time on having to create the video for Bybit, for OKX, for all of the, the process is just similar, just like I've explained. So if you're not connecting Bybit and you're connecting KuCoin, you just have to click on yes, I have an account. Make sure you have downloaded the KuCoin account and follow the prompt in creating wallet. Then head over to the um, wallet section or asset section or account section, then copy your USDT ecr code then paste it where necessary so that's just how to go about that and immediately you can see that it has been connected at the top so if you have any question on how to connect your wallet with pixel tab please let me know and um, if you also need a referral for pixel tab please let me know and don't forget lastly i have to mention this again 
if you know you don't know how to go about fighting um, in this session don't even try going there don't try going there okay so i think that's all for today i'll see you tomorrow again